Hi everyone, and thank you for registering for Breakfast Connect, brought to you by the NSBC and World Famous Events. As networking online is fairly new for most people, we thought we would do a quick demonstration to make you feel more comfortable with the technology and to help the day run a bit smoother. So when you registered, you would have received a link in your ticket. Now on the day itself, you would go visit that link and then you would end up at a page quite similar to this one. You will be reminded and prompted on the day, so don't worry about losing track of time. Um, and we would like to encourage you to all visit this page 15 minutes before the event is supposed to start. So you can see here we're about 10 minutes to go. So what you'll do when you arrive is you would click on this button called Save Me a Spot. Now you can see that this is a private event, so it'll only work with the email address that you registered with. Anything else will, will give you an error. So click on Save Me a Spot. You will enter the email that you registered with. You will then be prompted to add your name and to create a password. The password is important because if you ever attend future events, then it'll remember your profile and you can log in a lot easier. So take note of that pass password. Okay, so what you can see on the top right hand corner here is they've already taken the my initial and built me a profile. So now there's still a few minutes to go before the event opens. This is the time where you would create your online networking profile. Simply click on that icon on the top right and say update profile. Here you will be able to add an image, be able to edit your name, create a headline. So that could be pretty much what you do. So for me, it would be creative and social media. Um, over here, you would add your company name, your title in the business. And then very important is to add ways that fellow attendees can contact you afterwards. Uh, yes, even a space for your company website. So in order to edit this profile, you just click on this little pencil over here and you will see there that you can then update that. I would recommend spending quite a, a good amount of time, make sure that this profile is nice and complete before the event starts, as you don't wanna rush around and try and do this while the event is on. Um, you can see there to add a profile picture. There we go. Give it a bit of time. And right at the bottom, don't forget to push save changes. So once you've done creating your profile, you'll see that there is the avatar and the image that will show during the event. And you'll see the save me a spot button is blocked out. Um, that means that your registration was successful, you've used the correct email address, and now all you need to do is wait for the timer to run out, and that block over there will change to enter events. Okay, once your profile is complete, why not go and make yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee? It is Breakfast Connect after all. You can see now on the timer um, that we are less than a minute to go before the event begins. Please, please make sure that you have a strong internet connection and enough data. You are going to be using video and audio. And unfortunately, we can't take responsibility if your connection is really bad. Uh, another thing to consider is the browser that you're using. Please do not use Internet Explorer. It seems to give the system a bit of bugs. Please use Chrome and Firefox, the details of which are in the, your ticket email. All right, here we go. 10 seconds to go. And then lastly, make sure that you are dressed and ready to do business. Um, it's all about making a really great first impression and building those relationships. Okay. So there we, there we go. You see now, once the timer has run out, there is the button that says join event now. Okay, so now we're joining the event. What's great is the system will take you through a variety of prompts. So there it's giving you an idea of the layout. That is you sitting at the table, it's showing you your avatar. And this is a quick demo to show you how to move from table to table. Basically, you just double click 
and you move to the next table. To interact, you look at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a camera on and a mic on, and that is where you would switch both of those on. Okay, and then in this, this is a very important part, you need to allow the camera and microphone um, to join the event, but you can also join the event without the camera and microphone. But it's important that you give your browser permission. Okay, so once you have gone through all the prompts and you're sure your microphone and your camera are working, then you'll be transported into our virtual networking room. Here, you will be placed at random at one of our tables. To zoom into your table, you can just use your touchpad if you're using a laptop or your mouse scroller. Now, all the networking happens within tables, and that's quite exciting because you can then connect with a small group of people um, and create those relationships. Now, fear not, the day will, on the day we will have many, many, many more success-driven entrepreneurs and small business owners in the space. Uh, but for now, the demo, it's just me and good old NSBC Africa. Now, within your table, you will then switch on your camera and your microphone. And at the top of your screen, you will see a block with your video appearing, as well as the video then of all the others at your table. It'll then continue like a video conference would. Uh, at first, it can be a little intimidating to, to make that move and switch it on. But once you've said hello and have had a few introductions, it's a really, really easy way to connect with others. Now, within your table, and if you want to know who's on your table, you can simply mouse over the avatar. And if you click on it, you will see their profile appear. You can see their name, their company name. And this is why it is important that you connect your LinkedIn profile, your Facebook, your website, um, so that attendees that you connect with can actually um, contact you after the event itself. Here is another interesting feature, and that is message. So anyone on this floor plan, you can send a private message to. So the reason you would do that is perhaps you've met someone earlier on and you want to further the conversation. You can send them a private message and tell them to meet you at a specific table. You'd like to continue the chat. So that's a very useful feature there. Okay, now if you have are done networking at your table and you'd like to move to another table, all you do is double click on the table you'd like to move to and there we go, as easy as that. And you can interact with a whole new set of people. Um, on the top here, you will see um, it's blank at the moment, but there will be a program of the event there so you can be sure to keep up with where we are in the program. If for instance, this floor is extremely full and you're struggling to find a space to move to, or if you prefer smaller groups to connect with, you know, you don't want to chat to five or six people, but maybe just two, then here on the left, you will see floor. So this virtual room has another floor. You can simply go to the next floor and see if there's more space available to move around. There we go. You can see the NSBC now is not on this floor. If you ever want to move back, you can just click on the floor you'd like to go to and then you'll be placed back on that floor. At the bottom of your screen here is your toolbar. Here you'll also see another way that you can chat. If you click here, you can see that you can add comments to the general chat. You can chat as a table via text and the list of all the attendees will be here. So if there's anyone on the list you would like to message privately, you can connect with them using this feature over here. During the event, the hosts will communicate with everyone attending via announcements, like the one you see right now. Um, once a webinar is ready and it is launched, then all networking is paused and the webinar then takes over your whole screen. That, that will have its own private chat feature and you can interact with the speakers there. Once the webinar is complete, however, you can then go back to your table and back to network. And that's it for our Breakfast Connect demo. I hope that you feel more comfortable with the platform, that you've got a better idea of how it works and that you will make many, many business connections and leave truly inspired. See you there.